Hello. Well, we're going to start in one minute, okay? Vamos a empezar en uno o dos minutos a lo máximo. Vamos a darle tiempo a los chicos que se unan, okay, Claudia? Okay, teacher. Gracias. Hello. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Iris. Why are you together? <laughs> I can see you all together today. A todos los veo juntos. ¿Qué les pasa? Estamos en cierre, teacher. Ah, es 30. Vea. No, no. Anyone. Good evening. Estamos en cierre. Ahí están también ellos. Están ellos también. Me venía a la tienda, no hice ese volado. Todo está en cierre. Bueno. En efecto. En efecto. Ya pues aprendamos inglés en el cierre. <laughs> ok, ok. Entonces vamos a hacer la mayoría en ejercicios individuales para que no se vayan a, okay, a perder los ejercicios. Ok. Claudia llegando del trabajo también, usted en la escuela. Sí, también. Bueno. Se ve, se ve. Es viernes, así pasa los viernes. <laughs> okay, so we today we're going to do class number 15. Ya llevamos 15 clases, chicos. Uf. Música. Como no. nada, 15 días. 15 días, 30 horas. Imagine that. That is very crazy. So, we're going to do our class. We're going to do a lot of practice today. Vamos a sacar mucho práctica. Right, so let me, and we're going to work with the module. Que vamos a trabajar con el módulo de la clase también. So let us see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Can you see my computer? Yes? Okay. Here we are. We are going to start with National English for Work Program. Right, and we are going to do unit three. This is the last day of unit three. And we are with video conference number 15, vocabulary practice, okay? With this vocabulary practice, <laughs> okay, Julio Carlos, we're going to start working right now, right? So we're going to start with also with the time. Okay, we're going to do the time. 
back in a moment, ok? Ese día vamos a trabajar un reloj cada uno para no, no tener tanto el tiempo atrapado, ok? So, let's start here and we are going to start with the attendance. Y vamos a ver la asistencia rapidito. Ya tenemos 15 estudiantes. I think that will be enough, right? Uh, don't forget to turn on your camera, right? That is very important to insert for, right? Very, very important. Now we have here Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Present. Thank you so much. Brenda Iris Escamilla Pérez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Thank you so much. Eh, Carolina Yamilet Hernández Landaverde. Present. Thank you. Claudia Ivette Samayoa Castro. Present. Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Denis. Emerson Adalberto Guevara Hortas. Thank you. Heriberto Antonio Aras Mejiba. Present. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Present. Iván Ernesto Elías. Jessica Rosmeri Olmedo Fuentes. Julio Carlos Martínez, is it present? Eh, present. Sorry, pensé que ya había empezado. <ríe> no, no, it's ok. Eh, Karina Melissa Estrada Aldana. Okay. Nelson Iván Flores. Nimia Elizabeth León de Estrada. Present. Thank you. Vilma Beatriz Reyes Márquez. Present. Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado. Present. Thank you. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Gracias. Thank you so much. So now we are going to start with the class, right? The first activity that we are going to do, Ivan Ernesto is present. Hi, Ivan Ernesto. Now, we have here, right, the practice that we're going to do, we start with the clubs, right? These clubs of mine, right, one of the, the, here you're going to tell me the time. Now we don't have anything, you're going to decide. We have one, two, three, eight clocks, okay? So we are, what we're going to put here with the clocks is that we're going to put numbers to them. So this will be number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Now, let me see. Okay, clock, uh, clock number one goes to Claudia and Anna Daisy, okay? Claudia and Anna Daisy, clock number, clock number one. Okay. Um. Okay, but not yet, work on it, work on it, okay? Claudia and Anna Daisy. And Daisy. Okay, number one. Number two, it's for Joanna and Nimian. Joanna and Nimian. Number two. Number three, Vilma and Ivan. Ivan and Vilma. Number four, Carolina and Heriberto. Number five, right, is Julio and Jenny. Number six, it's Ivis, Iris and Carlos. Number seven is Brenda and Emerson. Ok. 
Okay? So, ¿todos tienen reloj? ¿Sí? Sí, sí, sí. No, Nelson no tiene, ¿verdad? Nelson, your clock is number eight. El último de la segunda fila es el que usted va a tener, ¿ok? Number okay. eight. Now, you are going to work individually, ¿ok? Individual work. No van a trabajar en pareja. Tienen asignado el mismo reloj, sí, pero trabajan de forma individual. Okay. Now, you are going to think about the possible options in which you can write the time. My question to you is, what time is it? Okay. Con base en su reloj. What time is it? Veamos qué hora es. Según como usted entiende el reloj, según las opciones que vimos la vez pasada de cómo decir el reloj. Okay. Hi, Jessica. Jessica, you have clock number eight. Okay. El último reloj de la segunda fila. Ese va a trabajar usted. Trate de escribir la hora de, de ese reloj en específico. Okay. 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 Let's do it. Yes, Brenda? You have Brenda number seven. Seven. Tercero de la segunda fila. That's seven. It is, yours is number six. Six. Teacher, y solo trabajaríamos el reloj que nos ha dado todo. Yes. Ahorita sí. ¿Mm? Ok. Ya después ustedes pueden practicar. ¿Did you finish, Iván? Yes, teacher. Excellent, Iván. Very good job. Jenny. You have number five. Five, el primero de la segunda fila. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Teacher, me yep. he quedado con una duda. ¿Cuál es su duda? Este, por ejemplo, uno dice la hora, pero no, no especifica si son la, la, digamos, en el caso del primer reloj, uh -huh. dice que son las doce y media. Pero no dice si de la noche o de la mediodía. ¿Cómo se puede hacer ahí? En ese caso? The thing is that that depends on the context in the situation that you are right now. For example, if I ask you right now the, the question, Ivan, what time is it? Oh, it's 13 past 8, right? No hay necesidad que usted me diga que son PM, que es de la noche. Porque, o sea, se ve que es la noche, ¿ok? Se sobreentiende, no, sería redundante. Pero, cuando okay. decimos, por ejemplo, cuando estamos hablando, como ayer, la conversación que ustedes estaban creando, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ustedes, si quiere decir la medianoche, puede poner at midnight. En la parte escrita, para dejarlo más claro. Recordemos que la parte okay. escrita es, es más difícil. O si es en la mediodía, las 12 de mediodía, at noon. Okay. Pero no es, no es necesario especificarlo. No, no es necesario. Es por lo mismo el contexto. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. 
a menos que sea en una, una cita, que usted vaya a ver a alguien, digamos, va a ver a su jefe, va a ver al doctor, o oh, a what time is the meeting, ahí sí. Usted va a decir, ah, the meeting is at 12 noon. Ok. Now, do you finish? Only Ivan Ernesto has finished? ¿Solo Ivan ha terminado? Me too. Joana, Ivan, ok, very good. Yo también. Very good, Carolina. You can say, me too. Me too. Yo también. Me too. Se lo voy a escribir aquí para frases que too. tenemos que ir aprendiendo. Ajá. Ok. Me too. Me too. O ese me too es yo también. Ok. O puede decir, I finish as well. Yo también terminé. I finished as well. Ah, permite. A Iris se lo estoy escribiendo, permítanme. <ríe> Me too. Yo también. O I finished as well. Yo también terminé. As well es también. ¿Eh? Escríbanos, escríbanos. Eso es para todos. So Carolina, Iván, Joana, who else finished? Nelson, did you finish? It is finished. Okay, Claudia. Claudia, did you finish? Finish. Okay, díganme para seguir con la siguiente actividad, chicos. Okay, Carlos Roberto, did you finish? Okay, very good, Julio Carlos. Okay, so let's share the answers that we have. Let's share the answers. What would you have for number one, Claudia? First clock. Your microphone. Number one. We cannot listen to you. Okay. Claudia, try to fix your, your, your microphone, okay? Sálgase de Zoom y vuelve a entrar. Tal vez se le, se le arregle el audio. Okay. Daisy, do you have the answers for number one? Daisy. She's frozen. Number two, Joanna and Nimian. Joanna, what do you have? It's one and a half. It's one and a half. Okay, it's one and a half. Very good. What is the other option, Nimian? It's one thirty. 
It's 1.30. Very good. Excellent. Very good, Joanna. Excellent job, Nimian. Right? It's one and a half. It's 1.30. That's great. Very good. Number three, Ivan and Vilma. Ivan, number three. Okay, number three, it's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. Okay, very good. It's one o'clock. Vilma, do you have something different? No, it's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. Very good. It's one o'clock. Excellent job. Now let's see Nelson and no, sorry, number four, Carolina and Ediberto. Eleven and thirty. Eleven? Sorry. It's eleven thirty. Very good. Carolina? It's eleven and a half. Eleven and a half. Okay. Recuérdense, Carolina, que ayer le dijimos, la L es muda, ¿ok? Así como hacemos con la uh -huh. H. Half. Uh, it's 11 and a half. And a half. And a half. Uh -huh. Very good. Now, y let's el otro, see. Eh, tengo otra opción. Ok. It's 30 minutes past 11. Mm, yes, we can say that. We can say that. But usually... The clock here is like in Spanish. Pasa, ya pasó media hora después de la una. Podríamos decir eso. Mm. Uh -huh. The structure sí, is pudiera, good. Sí, pudiese decirse. Uh -huh. Pero en español pero, no pero regularmente no. Ajá. Uh -huh. No se dice. Right? Ajá, no pero sé. así como lo he escrito, okay. ha utilizado bien la función gramatical. Ok. okay. Now, Gracias. Number five, Julio and Jenny. Eight and a half. It's eight and a half. 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 Excellent. And Jenny? Is, is 30 past eight. 30 past eight. That would be the same case as Carolina. What is the other option? It's, it's uh, 30 to nine. It's 30 to nine. No. No podemos no. decir, no podemos utilizar esos porque les decía, no podemos decir falta media hora para la, para la siguiente hora. ¿Ok? No sé si se recuerdan, no sé qué tan jóvenes serán. ¿Ok? But in the past, in the past, we, we used to listen to the locutores, you know, in the radio. Right? Y los locutores en la radio decían la hora a cada rato. Right? Que estaba patrocinada. Entonces, no se puede decir faltan 30 para la una. Entonces, después de, la de las 30 decimos faltan 29 para la una, faltan 28. Es la 12 y media, son las 12 y media. Pero dicen faltan 29 para la una. Lo mismo pasa con la primera media hora. ¿okay? No podemos decir eh, han pasado 30 minutos de la una. Decimos siempre, en este caso, la hora es half. Por eso estamos practicando esta, para que se nos internalice, ok, entonces pass pass to pass. before, no lo vamos a utilizar cuando estamos hablando de medias horas ok ok, okay. very good Jenny. excellent yo se escuchaba a los locutores así que escuchemos locutores ok, let's continue so, what would be the answer Jenny cuál sería otra opción It's um, it's half past eight. Sale igual. Tampoco se puede usar pas. Uh -huh. It's eight thirty. It's eight eight thirty. It's eight thirty. Very good. Number five, Julio and Jen. Eh, no, number six, Iris and Carlos. Uno de los dos, por favor. Yo sé que están ocupaditos, pero uno de los dos. Iris. Uh -huh. It's, it's not nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. Very good. It's nine o'clock. Excellent. Number, uh, number seven, Brenda and Emerson. Uh, 
It's two and a half. Okay, veamos acá. Number seven is two and a half. Half. Repeat, Emerson. Half. Okay, let's continue. Number eight, Ivan and Jessica. o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Okay. What would be another option, Ivan? And Nelson, Ivan? Okay. Seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Okay. Or it's seven. Now, there is another option. Now, they can yes, put in it's seven o'clock. Right. There is another option when we say o'clock, right, in English. Ya que se pueden y ese ya se la saben bien, right? We can say, for example, right, it's seven, right, it's seven sharp. Sharp is the same as o'clock, okay? Si ustedes escuchan que alguien les dice it's seven sharp, pero ese utilizar sharp es más como más cómodo para usarlo entre amigos y todo. Okay, ese sí es bastante informal, pero lo pueden ocupar. What time is it? Seven sharp, right? Seven sharp. Okay. Do we understand this? Do we have questions? Tenemos preguntas. Pero teacher, ese sharp solo se puede ocupar en, en cuando es a clock. Sí, solo cuando es a clock. Okay. Es un sinónimo de a clock. Okay, thank you. Very good, good question, Ivan. So let's continue with the next exercise. Yesterday we were talking about an agenda, right? We were talking about Mrs. Robles' agenda, right? So with Mrs. Robles' agenda, this is on page 33, ya ya todo. So what, in this case, we are going to do a writing activity. Okay, you are going to write an agenda, okay, with the things that you do every day. Okay. So we have here, right, we have here an example of an agenda, like the one that Mrs. Uh, Robles has, you're going to do the same since the morning, right, until, until noon. In 7 a.m. until noon. At what time do you start working? What time do you start working, Claudia? Uh, mm -hmm. It's at uh, 7 o'clock. Okay, at 7 o'clock. Okay, very good. So her agenda is going to start from 7 o'clock until noon. Okay, the activities that you do in the morning. So let's do the agenda right now. Right. We're going to use page 33. Cinco actividades, enough. Okay, let's do our agenda. Hagamos nuestra agenda, por favor. Tell me if you have questions. Entendimos que estamos haciendo o tienen preguntas. Díganme, por favor. Eh, Corríjame. Eh, entiendo que quiere que hagamos algo similar a la de Mr. Rowlett, a la agenda de Mr. Rowlett. Exactly. Exactly. That's what you're going to do. That is correct. Thank you. 
down if you have questions, please. Tell me if you finish. Dígame si terminan. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that, Joanna? Finish. <laughs> Una combinación de oración con queja. Okay. Oh, Carolina, excellent job. That's how we use English. Perfect. Así se utiliza inglés. Frase aprendida, frase utilizada. Si no, no lo aprendemos. Very good. Excellent, Carolina. I finished as well, teacher. That is a perfect answer. Nicely done. Miren que bien. Excellent. Muy bien. Frase que aprenden, frase que utilizan. Así debe ser. I know it's Saturday, yo sé que Friday, no, it's Friday, I know it's Friday, yo sé que viernes y están cansados, pero démosle. Vamos, vamos, vamos.
Okay. Now that you have your agendas, I think you have finished, right? We are going to see right now what are similar questions that you can make, okay? You're going to make questions similar to the ones that Mrs. Robles has on page 33, okay? Vamos a hacer preguntas similares a las que tiene Mrs. Robles acerca de su agenda. Heriberto, what do you have in your agenda? Heriberto Antonio Alas Mengiva. Sí. What do you have in your agenda? Uh, What did you write? ¿Escribe su agenda? ¿Todavía no? No. <laughs> ok. Please work on your agenda. Se le nota que no la he hecho en los ojos. Se le nota. Ok. Let's see. <laughs> eh, Joana. What did you write in your agenda? <coughs> My activities start at 7 a.m. Okay. At 7 a.m. I prepare the documents. Uh -huh. Later at 9 a.m. I take a breakfast. Mm -hmm. At 11 and a half, I call the customer. Mm -hmm. At 1.30, I eat the lunch. And finally, at the noon, I receive the English class. Okay, at noon, I receive English classes. Okay, very good. What is one question that we can ask Joanna about her agenda? Escucharon la agenda de ella, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es, ¿Cuál es una pregunta que podríamos crear con base en, aquella, en la agenda que ella hizo? Te, esas son las preguntas de Mrs. Robles, right? What is a possible question that we can ask Joanna? Joanna, read one or two more activities. Escuchemos por favor las actividades que ella dice y tratemos de crear una pregunta. Practiquemos oh. nuestro listening. Okay. My activities start at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. I prepare the document. Later, At 9 a.m., I take a breakfast. At 11 and a half, I call the customer. And at 1.30, I eat the lunch. And finally, as at the noon, I receive the English class. Okay, very good. At noon, I receive English classes. Remember that at noon, So, es a las 12, ¿ok? 12 del mediodía, at noon. Uh -huh. Pero si quiere decir en la noche, in the evening. In okay. the evening, I receive my English class. Now, what could be a question? No, Carolina, ese no, todavía no. Estamos en este. Mrs. Robles Agenda. Mrs. Robles Agenda. Ok, now. What is one question that you can ask Joana? ¿Qué pregunta pueden crear con base en lo que tiene Joana? Uh, what time is the Joana's breakfast? Okay, what time does Joana breakfast. eat? Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Very good. That's a great question. Okay. What time does Joana does Joana Eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. What time does Joanna eat breakfast? Joanna eats breakfast at 7.30, right? Something like that. 7.30. Okay, very good. What is your agenda, Nelson? Escuchemos la de Nelson. Uh, I start to work. Seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, night twenty-five. Um, I pray. Mm -hmm. Ten o'clock. 
I cannot hear you, Nelson. Can you hear Nelson? Discúlpeme que no lo escucho. Ahora. Sí, lo escucho suave, pero siga. ¿Y ahora? I start to work at seven o'clock and night in night in twenty-five. I have my I have a break. Ten o'clock deliver production order to su supervisor and twenty fifty-five workshop long. Okay, you have a workshop lunch. Okay, workshop lunch is cuando estamos en workshop. Un workshop es como esas capacitaciones a las que nos mandan, right? Mandan capacitación. Más que todos los profesores nos mandan capacitación a cada rato y nos dan comida, no muy buena, pero nos dan. Okay, workshop lunch. Now, what question can you make about Nelson? I can make a question right now. What time does Nelson deliver? the production orders. Mm -hmm. What time does Nelson deliver the production orders? Okay, that is one question. Okay, so what are you going to do? Ya tienen sus agendas, cada quien tiene sus propias agendas. We are going to create questions about our agenda. Ustedes van a hacer preguntas sobre su propia agenda, así como las que se escriben de acá. What time does Nelson deliver the production orders to his boss? Todas las preguntas van a ser distintas porque cada quien tiene actividades distintas. Okay? But we are going to use what time does. Como que alguien más estuviera creando las preguntas acerca de ustedes. Okay? Okay, let's do it. We're using does, does. What time does Nimia? What time does Ivan? What time does Heriberto? What time does Claudia? What time does Carolina, etc. Okay? Jenny? Good? Okay, ya tiene su agenda, Jenny? No, ok. Escriba su agenda. Eso es lo primero. Estamos practicando questions with third person singular. Pre preguntas que en las que utilicemos el das. Escriban tres preguntas. Con Mrs. Robles, tres preguntas teníamos. Podemos preguntar también... Who delivers the production orders? Oh, Nelson delivers the production orders. That's another question. Esa es otra pregunta. Who delivers the production orders? Mm Tell me if you finish. Tell me if you have questions. Dígame si terminaron o si tienen preguntas. Yo no entendí eso que dijo de how. How. Who. Ajá. Ajá. En el caso de Nelson, yo puedo crear otra pregunta que diga who delivers. Él dijo. Who delivers the production order? To... Nelson delivers the production orders. Okay. It's 8.45. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ya es 8.45.
I finish as well, teacher. Okay. What are your questions, Joanna? Can I listen to them? Can I get it? You finished, you said? Yes. Okay, can I listen to your questions? Can I you. listen to your questions? Yes. Tell me your questions. Uh, what time does Beatriz prepare the documents? Y les tengo que contestar. No, just the question. Okay. What time does Joanna eat the lunch? Who calls the customers? What time does Joanna receive English class? And who attends the vendors? Excellent job, excellent job. Just in the in the question where you have lunch, what time does Joanna eat lunch? Eat lunch. Eat the lunch? No, eat lunch. Okay. Now let's see who else finished. Can must tell me no. Finish. Very good, Vilma. Tell me your questions. First, the agenda, because we haven't heard your agenda. Your agenda and then the questions. What time does Vilma start the work? Mm -hmm. What time does Vilma eat lunch? Mm -hmm. it, what time prepared the document cell yesterday? Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. La última. What time does Vilma close the company? Close the company. Uh-huh. Close. Repeat. Close. 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 Exactly. Close the company. Very good. Excellent job, Vilma. Very good. Nicely done. Another person. I would like to listen to another person. Okay, Julio. Very good, Julio. Using English properly. Very good. Okay. Um, what time does Carlos start his activities work? Okay. His activities? Uh, work. At work. At work. At work. En el trabajo. At significa en él, en ese contexto. Okay. Uh -huh. What does Carlos doing at eight and a half every day? What, what does, do Carlos do? What do. does Car what does Carlos do? Sorry, what does Carlos okay. do every day at, at? Okay, every day at eight and a half. At eight and a half, okay. Who does reply to customers' messages? Okay, who does reply? Reply. But in that case, we're not going to use does. Porque es una subject question. Es una pregunta que se va a responder con quién. ¿Quién hace la acción? No, ¿cuál es, okay. la, cuál es la acción? Entonces, en ese caso, voy a poner who replies the messages. Okay. Mm -hmm. The customer messages. Who okay. replies? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Another one. Thank you, Julio, for your questions. Alguien más? Si no seguimos con otra actividad, veamos, practiquemos lo que lo que tenemos, por favor. Heriberto, wanna try? Yes. Okay. Uh... Eh, solo la pregunta solo la, no, usted no ha leído su agenda todavía, así que lea su agenda y su pregunta okay. first I turn off my computer around at 7am uh -huh. I check my email uh, around at 7am and 8am uh -huh. then at night Night at, at night and uh, 50 minutes, and then I eat my breakfast. Okay, after that, I update the system information at 
10 to 1 p.m. I eat my my lunch. Uh, then between 2 and 4 p.m. I prepare report for my boss. Um, finally, I finish my working day at 4 and 35 p.m. Okay, very good. Nice agenda. Now tell me three questions you created. Okay. What time do I have my breakfast? My my breakfast. My breakfast. <laughs> my breakfast. Uh, what time do what time do I have my lunch and what time I what time do I finish my working day? Okay. Do I, what time do I finish working? Okay. Mm -hmm. What time do I finish working? Okay, very good. Work. That is perfect. How can you make those sentences with with does? Those questions. Does. Make them with does. I will say, for example, can what be, time does Heriberto finish working? Can be the same. Hmm? Can be the same. Yes, but use use does. Okay. Uh, what time does I have my no, what what time does he or Heriberto, Heriberto mm -hmm. have your breakfast? His Her breakfast. His breakfast. Okay. His breakfast. Very and good. what time do no what what time does Heriberto prepare reports for your for his boss? For his boss. Okay. Very good. Okay. So we have does. With those questions very good now here right we're going to do another activity thank you so much for your participation okay we're going to do here another activity right now we have the question that we have practiced here is what time right to say the time ustedes ya pueden decir la hora así que eso no hay problema Right, we can already say the time, right? Very good, Carolina. Now we can say the time, right? But now we're going to say the time with sentences in simple present, okay? So listen to this. If someone asks you, what time is it? What time is it? You're always going to answer it and the time, it's 1.08, it's a minute past one, right? It's a minute or it's eight after one, right? Three options. But if someone asks you what time, right? What time does the meeting start? The meeting starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? I arrive at work at about 6.48 a.m. Okay, lo que estaba utilizando Heriberto, around, right? What time do employees leave? Employees leave usually around 7 or 7.30. So I can ask you right now, uh, let's see, Nimia. What time, what time does your English class start? Uh, my, my class in this is the start at uh, eight o'clock. Excellent job, Nimia. My English class starts at eight o'clock. Very good job. Uh, let me ask you, Claudia Yvette, what time do you start your classes in the morning? My classes in the morning is at seven o'clock. At seven o'clock, okay. So the answer will be Claudia. If someone asks you, what time do you start your classes in the morning? 
What time do you start the classes in the morning? Ah, I start the classes in the morning at seven o'clock, okay? I start the classes in the morning at seven o'clock. Okay, Claudia? Okay. Very good. Now, I want, I'm going to ask you another question, Claudia. Pay attention. What time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch? My day, um, no, I, I take my lunch at um, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, okay, at 12 o'clock or at noon or at 12. Very good, Claudia, very good. Um, let's see another person, Jessica. Are you here, Jessica? Jessica is not here, right? Let's see, Jenny. Jenny, what time do you arrive at the school? I arrive in, in the school at 7.30. 7.30, okay. I arrive at school, at a school at 7.30. Repeat. At 7.30. I am, um, I am, um, no, don't worry, don't worry. I, I arrive, arrive to a school um, at 7.30. 7.30, excellent job, Jenny. Let me see another person. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Carolina. What time do you finish work? I I finish work at at five at five o'clock. At five o'clock. Very good. I finish work at five o'clock. Excellent job. Do we understand how we use these questions? Yes? ¿Se entiende cómo se te, cuál es la diferencia en what time is it and what time does she start work? What time do you eat? ¿Se entiende la diferencia entre, entre, ese, entre esos dos tipos de preguntas? No, I no. don't understand. Okay. In the first one, Julio Carlos, we are exactly asking you for the time. Okay, for example, I will ask you, well, Julio Carlos, what time is it right now? What time is it? It's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. Okay, aquí solo le estoy pidiendo la hora. Okay, it's nine o'clock. En las otras, le estoy pidiendo la hora en que realiza una actividad o alguna actividad en su vida diaria o en el trabajo, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, yo le puedo preguntar, Julio Carlos, what time um, you are, what, what are you? You're a manager, right? Marketing. Marketing manager. What time do you design the logos for the product? I am design. I design. I design. I design the logos at nine o'clock. At nine o'clock, okay, very good. Si usted no está seguro de la hora, digamos, ah, a las siete, siete y media, a las nueve, nueve y media, nueve cuarenta y cinco, you can use at about, que significa ahí, cerca de las seis, o alrededor de, around seven, or 7.30, okay? Entonces, aquí, en esta, what time does or what time do, preguntamos la hora exacta de una actividad. Aquí, preguntamos qué hora es. Okay? Very good? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good? Okay. Ahora sí, o quedamos más confundidos. <laughs> sí? Okay, veamos una práctica. Veamos, Iván Ernesto. 
What time do you call your wife? Wife es esposa. What time do you call your wife? Si no tiene, imagínense que tiene. Que tengo alguna cosa. Wife es esposa. Oh. What time okay. do you call your wife? Okay. I call my wife. My wife. Uh, my wife at start at start at seven o'clock. At seven o'clock, okay. At seven o'clock. Very good. Yeah. Emerson. <laughs> what time do you finish work today? Um, Usual around. Six. Six p.m. Or six in the morning. P.m. Okay, six p.m. Usually at six p.m. Tenemos que en verdad porque ahí está. Okay, Nelson. What time do you deliver the products to your boss? I deliver about the the products. At at ten. At ten. Okay. Entonces ahí Julio Carlos estamos preguntando horas específicas, ¿ok? Vamos, sigamos trabajando. Entonces these three words. En el libro vamos a ver que estas tres palabritas se llaman prepositions, ¿ok? Prepositions. These are the name of these words. Prepositions. Right? And these are prepositions of time. Hay preposiciones de lugar, de tiempo, de un montón de cosas, ¿ok? These are prepositions of time. At, about, around. ¿Ok? Eh, spoiler alert, las preposiciones pueden ser las mismas, pero tienen funciones diferentes. Así que estas preposiciones que estamos viendo acá, las podemos ver en otro contexto que no sea acerca del tiempo o de la hora. Ok, now we have these prepositions here, porque en el nivel 2 las van a ver también. We have these prepositions, now let's go with this exercise. Tenemos estas preposiciones, at, about, around. Now, we're going to try to do this exercise. Eh, Joanna, can you please read the instruction? Lea la instrucción que está en verde. Complete the question using what time and who are us. Practice the conversation with a class. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to do this conversation. This is on page 34. Esta conversación está en la página 34. Right? And what we're going to do is to decide if we use do or does. And we have the conversation there, okay? Let's start and we're going to do this activity individually right now, okay? Let's do it. Mientras ustedes trabajan, yo les paso asistencia. Así que enciendan su camarita, por favor. Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Thank you. Brenda Iris Camilla Pérez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present, teacher. Carolina Yamilet Hernández Landaverde. Present. Claudia Ibetza Mayoa Castro. Present. Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Present. Emerson Adalberto Guevara Ortez. Present. Heriberto Antonio Alas Mengíbal. Present. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Present. Iván Ernesto Elías. 
Present. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo Fuentes. Julio Carlos Martínez. Present. Karina Melisa Estrada Aldana. Nelson Iván Alfaro Flores. Present. Dimian Elizabeth León de Estrada. Present. Vilma Beatriz Reyes eh, Márquez. Present. Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado. Present. Joana Beatriz Orellana Severo. Present. Very good. So we're going to continue here, please. Tell me if you finish, please. Página 34, estamos trabajando ahorita, Jessica. Finish, well, finish, finish, finish. Excellent, Carolina. Very good. What about the others? Did you finish? No? Jenny, do you have a question? Vilma, everything good? Jenny? No, okay. Nimia, questions? Más o menos? Okay, good. Thank you. Claudia? Todo bien? Ivan? Julio? Heriberto? Do you have questions?
Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Joanna. Okay, let's share the answers. Are we ready? Heriberto, Ivan? Yes, okay. That's very good, thank you. I am going to share with you here again, the conversation, right? We have the conversation on page 34. What are we going to do? We have number one, A, B, A. So I need two students, okay? Aparte de dar la respuesta ahorita, vamos a pr también practicar pronunciación, okay? So, tell me the answer for number one here. What is the question, Joanna? Really? Really? What time it start? What time? It start. Okay. Are we using do or does? What time do or what time does? Does. What time does it start? Okay. Very good. That's the answer. Thank you so much. Carolina, what do you have in number two? Let's meet. Let's see. Leo todo? No, just the answer. Ah, okay. Great. What time? What time do you arrive? Okay, very good. What time do you arrive? Very uh, good. Arrive. Arrive. Excellent. Let's see. Next one for number three. Help me, Jenny. Number three. Me too. Number three, what time does the photocopy center open? What time does? Very good. Excellent job. In number four, here I need to ask Ivan. Number four, but. Yes, first, what I thought. What time? What time does? What does. time does? Okay. Look at this, uh, Ivan. Restaurants is plural. Okay. Oh, wow. do. Do. Okay. What time do restaurants close here? And the last one, help me, Heriberto. And. Um, what time do they open? What time do they open? That's a great job. Thank you. What time do they open? Right? Now, I am going to read the conversations. Okay, I am going to read the conversations. Pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? After that, you are going to practice. Okay, listen. Number one, there is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at 8.15. Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6.50 a.m. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes. But what time do restaurants close here? Oh, around 7.25 p.m. Amanda has to take some reports 
to many departments on Monday. And what time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 8.05, right? That is the pronunciation for the conversations. Julio, you're going to do number one with Carolina, okay? Number two, let's do number two, Joanna and Claudia, okay? But let's start with Carolina and Julio. There is recruitment of the of the new employees employees on this Tuesday. Really? What time does it start? It start at nine a.m. A.m. Very good. Repeat with me. Recruitment. 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 Employees. 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 Do it again, please. Hagamos de nuevo la conversación. There, there is recruitment. Recruitment. Uh, recruitment of the of the new employees on the Tuesday. On really? Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Really? What time does it start? It start at 9 a.m. Okay. Really? 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 De really? verdad, así como de verdad vos. Really? really? Uh -huh. Eso significa, en Salvador ya significa de verdad vos. Really. Va a creer. Va a creer. No te <laughs> creo. Right? That's the meaning. No te creo. Really. really. Right? That's the meaning. Right? Now, let's do number two. Claudia, was Joanna in? Okay, Joanna. Who start, teacher? Huh? Who start? You can start. Okay. Let's let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at eight twenty-five. Eight. Eight. Oh, 15. A 15 a.m. Okay, very good. At 8.15 a.m. Just this word, great. Es grandioso, right? Great. Great. Say it, Claudia. Great. Great. Very good. ¿Me podemos decir que algo grande es eso? Great. <laughs> Right? Great, right? Very good. Number three, help me with number three, Heriberto and Vilma. Nimian and Jenny, you're going to help me with number four. Heriberto, you start. Nimian, you answer. Eh, Vilma, you answer. Okay. Tomorrow, I have to go to the Photocopy to Scott Scott Photocopy Center. Me too. What time does the photo, photocopy center open? It's open at 6 15. 50. 50. 50 a.m. 6 50 a.m. Very good. Very good. Very good. That was good. Thank you so much. 50. 15, 15, 50, okay? Now number four, Nimia and Jenny. After the work. Yes, but what time do you rest our floor here? Oh, around. Okay, very good. 
Restaurants. Repeat. Restaurants. Restaurant. Restaurant. Listen. Restaurant. It's like we say restaurant. restaurants, but in una forma más fancy, más sofisticada. Restaurants. Restaurant. Okay. Dinner. Dinner. With Dinner. me. Dinner with me. Dinner with me. Very good. And number five. Let's do this with number five. Ivan, help me, Ivan. And also help me, Jessica. Okay. Amanda has to check. Okay. Okay, start, Jessica. Okay, Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. At what time do you they open? They open, they open around it's 7.30 or 8 very good. They open around 7.30 or 8.05. Excellent job. Very good with the pronunciation here, right? Do you remember to copy this, right? The answers, copy las respuestas, por favor. And we continue here with the class, right? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? ¿Me preguntas? No. Eh, yes. En la segunda, en la segunda lectura, uh -huh. donde termina, donde dice, I will at, se puede decir, a quarter last eight. I arrive at a, at quarter after eight. Yeah, you can say that. Sí. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. The only thing okay. is that you need to practice because it will be a little bit difficult to pronounce that, okay? Va a ser un poquito difícil pronunciarlo, pero sí lo puede decir. Okay. Okay, very okay. good. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, there is, we have the exercise here, right? Now we're going to work on the exercise that is on page 35. Hoy sí, Carolina, sí la vamos a trabajar. The exercise on page 35. This is the exercise that we have, right? In this exercise, it says, ask three classmates about their schedule activities, specifying time and date, okay? Now, in this activity, you already have your agendas, right? Todos tienen sus agendas, correcto? Todos tienen sus agendas. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? It says, ask three classmates, hay que preguntarle a tres compañeros, about their schedules or activities, okay? So schedules or activities are the things that uh, we have in the agenda, right? And in the agenda, you put the time and the date, right? Ustedes pusieron la fecha, la hora en que hicieron sus actividades en la agenda, okay? So in the groups that we're going to create, for example, I will ask Ivan, Ivan, uh, what do you do? What do you do in your workplace? The workplace, okay. What do you do in your workplace? Okay. I have lot, I have, I have, I have to see and check. You have? The half I have to send the check. Okay, ¿qué significa esa en español? Dígame en español. Uh, se hizo, eh, espero firmar de check. Okay, I check. Okay, it checks the signatures 
on checks. Okay, you check the signatures on checks, right? Very good. That is one activity. That is one activity. At what time do you do that? At? At, uh, at time? At? Eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. Very good. Now, if we have here, if, si nos fijamos bien, acá nosotros ya creamos una oración, okay? And we can say, Ivan checks the signatures on checks at eight, right? We have a complete sentence, right? And that's what we're going to do in the groups. Now, after this, I need to ask Ivan number two, number three, okay? And the time. Then I am going to ask Carolina, one, two, three, with the time and the date, fecha y hora, okay? Then here I'm going to ask Vilma, right? Three different activities, okay? That's what we're going to do. ¿Entiende qué vamos a hacer? ¿Se entiende qué vamos a hacer? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Yes. Manda? Yes. Okay, no, that's not with me. That's someone else again. Okay. Now, we're going to place here then, we're going to work in groups. Vamos a trabajar en equipos entonces. Very quick, we have 17 participants. And we're going to work in, group, in groups of two or three. In grupos de dos o tres, okay? Let's start right now with the activity. Right. And let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Select your groups. ¿Qué pasó? Se les va a... Ay, no se vayan, no se vayan, aquí quédense. Aquí quédense. Aquí quédense. Se, se van a cerrar los, los... Se está loco suma ahorita. <ríe> se van a cerrar todos en 30 segundos, así que vamos a esperar que regresen todos. <ríe> Solo a pasear fueron. Vamos a esperarlos. Emerson va a poder participar en la actividad. Carlos va a poder participar en la actividad. Ya te ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Ok. Vale. No se vayan a ir porque voy a ponerlos acá. Brenda, Iris, Denis, Fernando van a poder participar en la actividad. Hola. Me sacaron de mi grupo. Hola. <risa> Me sacaron. No se preocupe, Zoom sacó a todo mundo del, del grupo apenas se fueron. Ay. Ay. Vas de nuevo con el mismo grupo, ¿ok? Vamos de nuevo. Es que está lloviendo, teacher. Uh -huh. Quizás por eso. Sí. <risa> vámonos, vamos, hoy sí. Ok. Creo que sí. Problemas de conexión. Sí. Hay un grupo que no tiene clases ahorita porque está lloviendo en San Salvador. Terrible. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Hoy sí. sí. Iris, Brenda. Se trabó. Ana Daisy. Vamos, Carlos. Escojan su grupo. Denis. Brenda Iris, pueden ir a trabajar con Carlos. Yo no, tiche. Ok, ok, ok. Voy manejando. Ok, ok. Be careful. Con cuidado. 
Okay. Denis, ¿puede trabajar con, con Julio Carlos ahorita? Problemas de conexión. Ok. Denis, voy a hacer lo siguiente. Necesito que Julio trabaje, entonces voy a mandar a Julio con otro equipo y a usted lo voy a poner de oyente en otro equipo, ¿ok? Julio, lo voy a cambiar. Para que, para que se ponga a trabajar, ¿ok? Vamos a mandar el grupo. Hay un grupo de dos acá. Ok, ya sé a dónde. Bye, Julio. Lo voy a enviar, Denis. Solo les escribo a sus compañeros que va a estar de oyente, ¿ok? Nelson, las suyas. Ok. Sería... Denny va a estar solo de oyente, ok, chicos. Ok. Ok. Start to work at 7 o'clock. I go to work, hijo. I... No. ¿Sí? Start to work. Seven o'clock. Un tel, ajá. Ajá. Y se pronuncia you, you until you eleven, doce, eleven o'clock. Okay. Iris va a estar de oyente acá, chicas, ok? Ok, thank you. Va manejando. No, en el trabajo. Ah, ¿quién? Iris. Iris va manejando. Ah, okay. Usted va a llegar a medianoche ahí, niña. Yo a la medianoche aquí. Está cayendo una gran tormenta. Oh. I have a lunch at 12 and a half. Uh -huh. I have a lunch. Okay. So you will say, I have lunch. I have lunch. I, I have, have lunch. lunch. Uh -huh. At 12 and a half. At? Ok. Son entonces tres preguntas. Ahí vamos una de Joana. ¿Y cuántas ha puesto Nimi? Ahí he puesto las tres. Son las que necesito para que me las he puesto. Ah, Esto es eficaz. Vamos. Ajá, ahí está. Dice cómo sería línea, línea, marca, 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 Nimian puts her finger. <laughs> yeah, that, that could be also. At the machine. Es como marcar el inicio a las 7.30. Sería la primera cita. If you do it. If you do it online, right? Right. What we can do is that we can say. Right, that you check in right, at your work. Mm -hmm. You clock in also. Clock in. I will clock put it in. here in the chat. You can say, Ninian. Clocks in at. And what time do you clock in? 7 a.m.? 7 and a half. Seven and a half. Right? clocks in at 7.30 a.m. So, clock work is? Mm -hmm. 
Now, lo que dice eh, poner el dedito para marcar, marcar la hora de llegada es clocking. Poner de Poner el dedito. Sí, en otras es bien parecido, porque en otras dicen punch in. Como se presiona, hay una que se presiona el botoncito. Punch in. Cuando va de salida, clock out. Punch out. Ahí en el caso, y cuando marcan por rostro. Es lo mismo. Clock in, clock out. La misma. Yo le acabo de enviar los míos, no sé si los pueden ver. Yes. I hope. I hope. Sí. Pero ¿por qué dice I hope, Iván? Eh, porque estoy esperando, yo espero. No, pero ese a hope es de esperanza. Por ejemplo, I hope to have more money in my life. Hope, ese hope es de, es, de, es, de, es de esperanza. De esperanza, así como esperanza de esperar algo bueno en su vida. Oh. Ajá. Entonces, ¿cómo yo, sería en de, ese caso? De, yo espero que esté correcto. Ajá, I hope it's correct. Ajá. Ah, ok. Vaya, ¿Pero qué Pero quiere en decir? En ese caso, dice, espero firma de cheques. O sea, yo espero, no, yo solo espero firma de cheques. Pero, ¿y por qué, qué es eso? ¿A qué se refiere con esa actividad? ¿Usted espera que alguien o sea, más le firme eh, el cheque? Me firmen, me firmen los cheques, exacto. Alguien más le firma los cheques. I wait. Oh, alguien más me firma los cheques. Oh, Su jefe. I wait for my boss. Así es. Mi jefe. Okay. I wait for my boss to sign the checks. I wait. Mm -hmm. Esperar es wait. I wait. Ah, wait. Wait. Ah, wait. Entonces, oh, es de esperanza la otra. El otro es de esperanza. I hope I get another job. Mentira, Isafor. Estoy bien aquí. Ok. <laughs> I do, right? sí. Es de esperanza. Sí. Y este güey, no se preocupe, okay. así me pasó a mí cuando yo aprendí inglés. Okay, no se preocupe. Okay. Entonces, en este caso, teacher. Ok. okay. Eh, los demás están correctos. I deliver. Delivery es el. Uh -huh. Entonces, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, I deliver, right? The checks. The checks to providers. I cover another department at work at 3 p.m. I cover another department at work at 3 p.m. Or 3 o'clock. It's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Deliver is el verbo. Deliver, entregar. Delivery es eh, envío. Envío. Ah, ok. Perfecto. O sea, eh, no sería, sería entonces solo deliver. Deliver como verbo, exacto. Ok. Ah, la otra es el cobran. No, no. Ok. Ok. Okay. 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 Thank you. Very good. Very good. Teacher, tenemos una duda. El mejor duda. 
Eh, tenemos que agregar este, solo, solo la, la, la hora o también el día en, en que se realizó la actividad. En la que se realiza la actividad. Uh -huh. Pueden ponerle la hora o el día, las dos cosas. Uh -huh. si solo tienen la hora, escriben la hora. Hay actividades que realizamos específicamente un día. Por ejemplo, I have meetings at 3 p.m. on Fridays. ¿Ok? Gracias. ¿Ya terminaron o todavía les falta? What? Almost? ¿Ya terminaron? Yes. Sí. Ok. Vámonos pues. Vámonos todos. Okay, so we are going to share some of the examples. My example that I wrote here was, Ivan checks the signatures on the checks at 7 a.m. That was my sentence, okay? Tell me one of your sentences, Joanna. Okay. Nimian. Clocks in seven and a half. Okay. Nimian clocks in at seven and a half. Okay, very good. Clocks in. Marca entrada. Okay, ella marca entrada. Clocks in at 7.30 or seven and a half. Very good, Joanna. Nimian, tell me another sentence. Um, uh, Carlos Roberto uh -huh. check the document seven o'clock at, 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 at Carlos Roberto check the document at seven o'clock I am okay very good thank you so much Nimian Carlos Carlos Roberto tell me another example Uh, teacher, yo tenía. Joana checks the documents at 7 a.m. Y la pago porque. Ok. Joana checks the documents at 7 a.m. Very good. Now, let's see, Heriberto, what do you have from your group? Ok, en mi group. Uh, Um, Jenny and Jessica. Jessica, write reports Friday at 9 a.m. Jessica checks the reports. No, right. On Friday at 7 a.m. Yes. Okay. Write so reports Friday at 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Roberto. Jessica, tell me one example. Okay, Eriberto check email, email at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. So early. Okay, very good. Okay, Eriberto checks emails. Repeat, emails. 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 There you are. Thank you so much. Only you two. Solo se da en ese equipo. No, también está Jenny Carolina. Jenny Carolina. Tell me something about Jessica. Jessica check the new document at 10 a.m. Okay, at 10 a.m. Very good. Thank you, Jenny. Let's see here, Julio. Who was in your group? My group is Ivan Ernesto and Emerson. Okay, let's do it. You tell me something, then Ivan, and then Emerson. No, but you have one, right? Tienen alguna? Tienen una? Okay, démosle. Tenemos la de Ivan y tengo las mías. Okay. Okay. 
Eh, Tell me about Ivan. Okay, Ivan, wait for your boss to see the checks at eight and at eight o'clock. Okay, repeat that. Casi no le escucho. Re repeat your sentence. Repita la oración. Okay. Ivan. Ivan, wait for your boss to sing the checks at eight. A.M. For my boss? For my boss or for his no, boss? Your, oh, his boss. Yeah. His. To, to sign to sign the checks. His boss to sign the check. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Ivan, tell me something about Julio. Tengo la de Emerson. Okay, tell me something about Emerson. Very good. Okay, Emerson Guevara, he goes to work at an air at night 15 minutes. At night and 50 minutes, okay? Goes to work. Yes. Eh, Emerson goes Guevara, work. Go, he goes, okay, he goes to work at a 15 minutes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. Now, Emerson, uh, Emer just one, just okay. one. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. Emerson, yeah. tell me about Julio. Julio start working after eight o'clock. Okay, after eight o'clock. I like that one. After significa después de. After eight o'clock. Very good. Vilma? ¿Quién está en su equipo? Eh, Claudia e Iván. Ok. Let's start with you, Vilma, then Claudia, and then Iván. Uh -huh. Claudia create homework on the platform. Ok. Create. 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 Create homework on the platform. 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 Create at, on the platform. At 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. Okay, very good. Continue, Claudia. Nelson delivery production orders to your boss around 10 star. To my boss or to his boss? To my boss, a mi jefe, or to his boss, o a su jefe de él. Su jefe de él, que loca. Uh -huh. My boss, my boss. To his <laughs> boss. Ese sería, Claudia, his boss. His, su. his es para él. Su. Su para él. Her para ella. My, cuando usted me dice your boss, yo estoy pensando que usted está hablando de mi jefe. Ok, ahora repítalo con la corrección. Delivery production orders his boss around 10, 10 SR. Ok, Iván delivers the production to his boss around 7 a.m. Seven a.m. Uf, early, early, early. To his, uy, his boss fue separado. His boss. Very good. Now tell me, Nelson. Vilma prepared the document sales yesterday at 9.30. But yesterday is about the simple past, Nelson. Yesterday is ayer. Y eso ya estaríamos hablando del pasado. Ahorita estamos utilizando el simple present, el presente simple. Ok. Ok, Jessica. Prepare, prepare the document sales um, at 9 and 30. 9 30, ok, very good. Prepares. 
prepared. Prepares. Excellent job. Very good. Very good. And I think we're just missing Carolina's team, right? So the group of Carolina no falta. Carolina y Daisy. Daisy. Y Iris, creo. Okay. Carolina y Daisy, que estaban sí. muy activas. Okay. Sí. Carolina. Okay. Carolina. Get to work at night. Night. Um, and half. Okay. Carolina gets nice to work. Carolina gets to work at 9.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Wednesday 28. Okay. On Wednesdays. On Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Very good. On, on Wednesdays. On, on. Oh, Our, yes. Now, Carolina, tell me something about Ana Daisy. Okay. Ana Daisy, Star Wars, Star Wars at 8, 8 o'clock a.m. I check our, I check our reports. At until 10 o'clock. Okay. okay. Now, escriba la última que acaba de decir, Carolina. Escriba en el chat. Okay. Okay. Now, remember, estas frases que están aquí en el chat son para que las utilicemos en, eh, en, en nuestro uso diario, no solamente para que, para que las veamos, hay que copiarlas, hay que tratar de utilizarlas. Okay. And I check reports at, okay. I check reports until 10, until 10. I check reports until 10, until, okay, okay until everyone, and, oh, perdón. Um, until significa hasta, okay, hasta. I start my work until 8 a.m. Yo comienzo a trabajar hasta las 8, okay, until is 8, is hasta, okay. Now, just very quick, we're going to finish right now with that. But I just want to, to check here that the, the platform, estoy verificando, casi todos hemos terminado la plataforma, por favor. Eh, solamente los estudiantes que voy a mencionar, todavía me les falta que terminen todas, todas esta semana. Ana Daisy, Carlos, Denise, Emerson. Eh, solamente, ok y todos los demás, como puedo ver ya todos terminamos, Brenda Iris eh, Brenda Iris, Carolina, Claudia Heriberto, Iris Iván Ernesto tiene que volver tiene que terminar esa actividad, no la ha terminado Jessica Rosemary eh, muy bien Joana muy bien, Julio Carlos muy bien Karina eh, ya terminó Nelson igual, Nimian igual, ok también puedo ver que la terminaron Vilma Beatriz y Jenica, Jenny Carolina. Ok. Now. Solamente vamos a pasar la asistencia la última vez antes que nos vayamos. Brenda Iris, Denis Iris, si pueden encender su cámara, por favor. Vamos a pasar asistencia. <risa> Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Present. Brenda Iris Escamilla Pérez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Oh. Claudia Ivette Samayoa Castro. Present. Denis Fernando Flamenco. Emerson Adalberto Guevara. Ya estuvo tu venta hasta la tarde. Heriberto Antonio Alas Beitiba. Buenas tardes. 
y las contraseñas de esta pregunta. Este... Ok. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Present. Iván Ernesto Elías. Present. Teacher. Jessica Rosmerio Olmedo Fuentes. Present. Teacher. Julio Carlos Martínez. Present. Karina Melissa Estrada Aldana. Nelson Iván Flores. Dimian Elizabeth Present. León de Estrada. Vilma Beatriz Present. Reyes Márquez. Present. Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado. Present teacher. Joana Beatriz Orellana Severo. Okay. Okay. Very good. So that was our class for today. Right. Today I'm going, I'm going to stay with Nelson Ivan and the other ones. Have a beautiful day. See you tomorrow. No, see you Monday. Tomorrow is Friday. See you Monday. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-b